Good morning, friends. I hope you are doing well. Today, I'm here with a little bit of a different style video. We are talking about 50 things I don't buy and ways to save money. I don't consider myself a minimalist at this point, although that kind of lifestyle is very appealing to me and I may be kind of heading in that direction. But even just as a stay-at-home mom and the way the economy is going and even just being wise with your money, these are things that I implement and have worked really well for me. So I am by no means judging you if you buy any or all of the things I'm about to mention. I think often we think of helping financially as bringing in money, but it could also be limiting the amount of money that goes out. And I would love to learn from you. So let me know in the comments below, what is one thing that you do not buy, um, a way that you're finding to save money? I think that covers all the disclaimers and bases. So without further ado, let's get into 50 things I don't buy. Number one, magazine subscriptions. So I feel like these are a little bit outdated, truthfully. How many people actually still do subscriptions? I'm not sure, or magazines magazines, but I know it can be one of those ongoing things that you <laughs> just kind of get and then maybe find yourself just kind of stacking them away in a corner. Happened to me before and I never actually got around to reading them. I no longer have any magazine subscriptions. Number two is paper towels. <laughs> I actually do not own paper towels. Josh did come home with a pack a week or two ago, <laughs> but for the most part, we've not had paper towels in our home for probably at least two years. To clean windows, I like to use a special window cleaning ray, or you can use newspaper that comes in your mailbox, recycle that and use that to clean your windows. Works really well. <laughs> Next is short-term toothbrushes. So I feel like you can whip through these pretty quickly and when really one of the electric toothbrushes lasts so much longer, you just have to buy the new heads on occasion, but they also do a better job cleaning your teeth. So that's what we have used it for a long time. Josh and I actually share the stem of it and then we just each have our own heads. Works really well and is a way that you can save on toothbrushes. Next is makeup wipes. I do not own any makeup wipes and actually don't remember last time I used them. I buy all my makeup from a small shop called Adele Natural Cosmetics and I love what they stand for and I use their, I think it's the cleanse. It's an oil, I think it has like coconut oil and some different oils in it and I just use that to remove my makeup and it works really well and I don't have all that waste and it also moisturizes my face while while we're at it. Next up is meal subscriptions. And yes, I am a YouTuber saying I don't do meal subscriptions. Can you believe it? <laughs> I shared a couple weeks ago about our monthly grocery shopping and planning and all that. And I feel like that's a much more efficient and effective way for us to save money than meal kits. I totally see where people come from, especially in certain seasons of life. Like if you're newly postpartum, that's an instance where I can definitely see a meal kit can be really, really helpful, but it's not something that I have ever done or plan to do. Special occasion slash extra makeup. I have a very basic makeup routine, takes me five, maybe 10 minutes a day, and it doesn't really vary depending on the occasion. I might add a little bit of sparkle or a brighter lipstick or something, but for the most part, I'm very basic with my makeup and do not keep stashes that I don't use. And if I have tried a new product, it will usually either make it into my daily routine or be kicked out of my makeup bag into the trash after maybe two months of just finding I'm not reaching for it, so. Very, very basic, but it works for me and saves money because makeup can be super expensive. Next is sodas slash juices slash pop slash whatever you call it. I do not buy any drinks. We drink a lot of water. I think it has a ton of health benefits, but also all the extra added stuff in juices normally is just not stuff that I wanna have around the house, plus it saves money. So we do make our own grape juice. I love using that for immune boosting purposes, but also it tastes really good. So it doesn't have any added sugar. But aside from that, we don't drink any soda at all. Next is coffee or smoothie shops. Kinda goes along 
with the previous one. Next is nail services. As you know, I normally have my nails done. I love how feminine and just put together it feels, especially in the summer when I do all the gardening and dirt behind my nails a lot of the time. <laughs> I just buy these. These are just from Red Aspen. Nail polish does not stay on for half an hour for me, I don't think. Uh, I'm just way too rough on my nails, but these Red Aspen nails have worked well, but they're super easy and a cheap like at home option. Number 10 is artificially scented candles. I actually don't burn a lot of candles. 98% of the candles I burn are actually from my sister's small shop. She has soy candles that she makes and they taste a taste. <laughs> yeah, you, you feel you want to taste them sometimes, but they smell incredible. But for the most part, I just don't burn candles. If I want my house to smell good, I will bake cinnamon rolls or <laughs> make something in the kitchen. I love having the windows open in the summer. I bring in fresh eucalyptus that I grow and just all these more natural ways to make the place smell nice without actually buying especially artificially scented candles. The next one kind of goes with my nail services and that is lash services. I know that's another super common service that women get regularly and can add up really quickly. I use a lash serum that has made people wonder if I get extensions or like lash services but I have never been to get lashes put on. Next is actually Tupperware, surprisingly. Uh, yes, we are jumping literally all over the place. I hate these messy container drawers. They just never seem to stay clean. I have a couple of them that I bought at a yard sale years ago, and then I do have the Caraway storage sets, which I love. They are microwave safe and like don't have all the toxins and stuff of plastic. But for the most part, if I have leftover food, I will just put them in bowls and cover with saran wrap and put them in the fridge. And it just feels a lot tidier to me than this big drawer of plastic containers. Number 13 is dryer sheets and fabric softeners. Never actually used these since we were married, I don't think, which is going on 11 years. I think the big thing is I just never started and so I never got used to it. I love to dry my laundry outside in the sunshine. It also really helps with stains and that kind of thing. Number 14 is fast fashion and if you watched my New Year's resolution or goals video, you'll know. <laughs> Next up is purses. I have one purse that I've had. It's like a diaper bag, it's like a backpack all the things I've used it when I'm nursing, when I'm just using it even as a mom's night out. Like I have my one bag. Number 16 is swimsuits, swimsuits slash sunglasses. I have my one swimsuit. I do not alternate differently and I will actually link it in the description box if you're interested. It's a more modest option. Sunglasses, again, I have one pair, stays in the van. When I need it, I will put them on. Otherwise, I just don't alternate between all these different ones. It's really quite unnecessary. I know swimsuits, it's kind of like people are like, oh, we're going on vacation, like a new swimsuit every day, like a new outfit every day. I don't know, I don't do that. I will pack a different outfit every day, but not a swimsuit. 17 is microfiber cloths. I actually don't like the feel of microfiber. It just feels, I don't know, fake and just not nice on my fingers. So I know that's kind of a really specific item, but that's something I don't find necessary. I love some of the softer cloth options, but microfiber is one that I stay away from. Next up is kitchen gadgets. And by this, I just mean one purpose items a lot of the time. I do have a few things, like I have a lemon juicer, I have a garlic press, uh, but there's a lot of things, like an apple core, for example, that I'm, I feel like, well, I can just core my, you know, it's real easy to just do it with a knife and just kind of gadgets that sit around. Number 19 is processed slash canned foods. I, when I sat down to do this list, I was thinking about this and I think the only thing we buy canned is black olives. Yeah, we just don't do much in the canned aisles of grocery stores. Oh, I did buy canned sauerkraut the other time, but we just don't eat a lot of canned processed foods. We prefer fresh all the time. We grow a lot of our own fruits and veggies, especially veggies, in the summer, and then I can and freeze and store for the winter, and then otherwise, whatever we can buy fresh is kind of what we go by. Next is bread. We make all our own bread, specifically sourdough, and love 
love it. So much tastier than the bought kind too. Artificial plants slash flowers with the disclaimer of we have a couple of Christmas trees and in the attic where I'm not watering, there's a couple artificial plants. I don't like how they look. They look so fake to me. Plus live plants are just so life-giving. <laughs> Can someone relate? 22 is cottage cheese. So living on a dairy farm, obviously we drink all of our own raw milk, so we're not buying milk, but also specifically cottage cheese, I never buy. I don't really care for the bought version of it. I do like a dryer curd at home, but we also will often make our own like butter or yogurt or those kinds of things. That is not on the list today, but you kind of get the idea. Dairy in general, we don't buy a lot of for that reason. Number 23 is printed photos. These feel like clutter to me because they just kind of float around everywhere. So what I do, I still want to enjoy all my photos and I don't want them to just stay on my phone forever. So at the end of the year or beginning of the following year, I will make a mix book and I have one of these for every year since we got married. It's been such a sweet way to still have all the memories, all the pictures in front of us in like real form, not just on a phone. All of our favorite books to look through. 24 is new books. I very, very rarely will buy a new book. I love having books. It is not something that I try to minimize in our home because I think they are important for learning. I personally don't love reading, but will still make myself read, but especially for the kids and kids' books and things like that, we have a lot of, but 99.9% .9 of them have been gifted or thrifted. 25 is cable TV. We have never had TV since we got married for a number of reasons, but it also saves us money. Number 26 is an odd one, but it is shaving cream. I do not use shaving cream. 27 is pre-cut veggies. Yes, we eat tons of veggies, but I will not buy them pre-cut. For whatever reason, they're more expensive when they're pre-cut, plus a lot of things, I don't know if I have cheese. I don't think I have cheese on my list, but shredded cheese, for example, they ha add like preservatives and stuff to keep it from sticking together, so it's also kind of gross, <laughs> if you ask me. 28 is candy. We eat very little candy in this home, <laughs> and it is definitely not something I buy. So, well, okay, with the exception of Easter, we do some Easter eggs, and we've gone to like parades and things where they get all of these candies thrown at them, and they, just tend to sit in cupboards for months and they're not eating them so I just end up tossing them. Next up is greeting cards. I'm not sure if this is an outdated thing although I think it should not be. I wish snail mail came back in a little more. Maybe I'm old-fashioned but I think that's so sweet. But make your own. You can save literally four or five dollars. At 30 is baby food. No I'm not in that era right now. My youngest is one and a half but it is something that I wanted to include because I wish I would have known as a young mom. So with my first one or two, I believe, I did buy all this baby food and I was so consumed with like, okay, what number does it say on here? Like, can she have this by now? Until I learned that it's really not as complicated as we make it. Number 31 is a mouthwash and this one kind of makes me laugh. I guess people use it for fresh, fresh breath but why don't you just brush your teeth? Maybe I'm missing something, but I don't use mouthwash. 32 is bleach. Uh, I feel like it actually yellows your clothes in the long run, plus it has all the horrible chemicals and smells awful. <laughs> so some better options that I prefer are peroxide, baking soda, and sunlight. 33, body lotions. I do not use any body lotions. I will use coconut oil, that kind of thing. No lotions. Number 34 is CDs. I think these are outdated anyway, but we use spot instead. 35 is fast food. We do not eat fast food with the exception of Chick-fil-A maybe like four times a year. Otherwise, I cannot tell you the last time we have been to a McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, whatever all the names of all the places are. Number 36 is microwave and microwave specific food such as like the microwave popcorn and things like that. Not had a microwave for years and honestly I don't miss it because I I'm not used to it. You just have to think ahead a little bit more. Number 37 is anti-aging creams. And yes, I give you full permission to talk me out of this one. <laughs> Maybe I should be using some. It's actually something I think of often now that I'm in my early 30s, but I take a collagen supplement and then honestly, this sounds so strange. <laughs> 
but when I started using the makeup I was telling you about earlier that I use, my skin really cleared up, and then I feel like just my makeup remover, like that's literally all the skincare I do. I don't even do like moisturizers or toners or like all the things. So yeah, feel free to talk to me on that if you feel like I am doing it very wrong. Maybe I will be wrinkled as a raisin till I'm 40, but so far I feel like my skin is better than it was in my 20s, so that is what I'm doing currently. Number 38 is high heels or any uncomfortable slash non-suitable shoes. <laughs> I try to opt for only comfortable shoes. Also, I only have neutral shoes so that they go with more outfits. Number 39 is multiple phone cases or the newest tech items. I have one phone case, it serves me well, and it stays on all the time. And I definitely don't have the latest and greatest technology. 40 is souvenirs. Photos and video are my souvenirs. Number 41 is toys without specific purpose. So this one is hard for me as a mom. If I take my kids shopping and they are asking for cute little toys they find, it is hard to say no because I want to just like, yes, you can have that. But if you buy toys constantly throughout the year, things like birthdays and Christmas are less exciting and special because they kind of get toys all the time. Also, for the purpose of when I do take my kids shopping, I want them to know life is not just about like, oh, I want that, now I have that. Oh, now I want that, now I have that. That is not the mentality I want them to grow up with. Number 42 is delivery insurance. I've been noticing a lot of like online pur purchases have, I think it's 98 cents delivery fee protection or something it's called, and I will opt out of that one. And so far, everything has been delivered fine. Number 43 is paid apps, with the exception of for work, I use Canva, and then I have one paid app, which is a garden layout app. Number 45 is art and craft kits. Number 46, clothes that don't fit well slash not my style. I used to have this big closet full of clothes that I did not like to wear. Now I have Downsized a lot, although this is something I wanna do even more. They're just gonna hang there. You may as well donate them, sell them, whatever, but they're not serving much purpose just hanging there. <laughs> Number 47 is gym memberships. We've actually collected a few gym things. We have like a weight bench, some dumbbells, kettlebells, a uh, bike, things like that. That's mostly just stuff at yard sales over time. It works well for what we need and saves us monthly on gym memberships. Number 48 is movies. Again, we use Amazon Prime. Redeem TV is a really good option. So that suffices for what we need. Plus, we don't watch a lot of movies. 49 is cookbooks without photos. I do love actual cookbooks. I use Pinterest fairly regularly, but I love actual cookbooks that I can page through, that I can make notes in, all the things, but they have to have pictures. And then number 50 is kind of a big one, but it is new cars. We have never bought a new vehicle. If you made it through all of that, thumbs up to you. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below what is something that you do not buy. I would love to learn from you. As always, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye friends. Golden, golden thing.